fatigue's really quite a tricky term because um, it means many things to many people. Uh, for instance, if you go to your doctor and you complain about fatigue, probably you're thinking, I'm always tired, um, I find it hard to get out of bed. This, this is symptom of fatigue is not what we're studying. We're interested in, as I said, fatigue with exercise. We can define it as a reduction in the ability to produce force. Um, and that's the way that we measure it. Uh, even then, fatigue with exercise has a couple of components. So it has this reduction in the ability to produce force, so you're not as strong as you were before you started the exercise. And it also has the sensations that go along with that. So people who do exercise talk about burning in their muscles, and that is a sensation of fatigue. Um, and there's also the sensation that it's difficult to do the things that you used to be able to do before you started your exercise. Many of the people with multiple sclerosis have uh, reduced abilities to, you know, some of their nerves are demyelinated, they have lesions that make it difficult for them to drive their muscles uh, and therefore it's harder work to, to, to do anything and that makes for more fatigue. Um, in other patients it's not clear where the fatigue is happening. So people with chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia, for instance, perhaps they have more of the symptom of fatigue rather than this clear decrease in the amount of force that they lose with exercise. Um, it, it's likely that these symptoms and the signs of fatigue are intertwined in some way, but we really don't know how yet.